Welcome. This is a follow-up tutorial to my original Ducky One video on the Macro 2.0 feature that I've come to love with these keyboards. My original Ducky One keyboard started developing a bit of key chatter on the spacebar, and since I'm working from home and needed a numpad, I figured I would jump on the new Ducky One 3 series of keyboard. However, the macro recording feature advertised with a few of the new keyboards is documented via some rather poorly written instructions in the user manual, which should be no surprise. For reference, this is the DKON2108ST model, but I've been seeing similar feedback from others that the macro recording for their TKL model is also broken. I'm also on the firmware version 1.07, which is the latest, and I've reinstalled, installed, and uninstalled the drivers multiple times to fix this, or try to fix it. As of this recording on April 2nd, there is no known fix or post online that I've seen regarding the macro recording feature behaving oddly. Ducky hasn't responded back to my request for clarification, and MechanicalKeyboards.com, the place that I bought this from, told me I would need to pay to have this brand new keyboard repaired by having them reflash the PCB via an ISP method, which is kind of like a new or a fresh low-level firmware, which isn't even a tool provided to the end user. Go figure. So let's get right into the macro function, and then I'll share a few extra things I've discovered that should be helpful with this keyboard. I'm going to bind my favorite six multimedia keys to the insert and page down cluster over here. I'm just going to kind of do it, um, you know, as fast as possible or at my own pace. Uh, so first things first, let's reset the keyboard by holding down uh, both Windows keys over here for three seconds. The keyboard will flash a little bit, and that just tells us that it just cleared like everything out. You can see it even just reset the lighting. We're just going to work with it. doesn't matter. You can do FN plus F10 to change lighting. I'm going to set it back to the raindrop mode. Um, and if you want to modify these lights over here, this these lights over here are the num lock, the scroll lock, um, the caps lock, and the mouse cursor one. You can do FN, Alt, arrow keys up or down. I turn these all the way down because they're incredibly bright. So you can only bind uh, on profiles two through six. So we're just gonna choose profile two. That blinks twice to let us know we're on that. And then to enter macro mode, we're gonna do FN Alt Tab for three seconds, and it'll blink a couple times. Now you can see the, all the backlighting turned off, meaning we're in macro mode. Now, if I hold FN, it just highlights the modifier keys that are not rebindable. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna select uh, the delete key first, because I'll be assigning mute to the delete key. So we're gonna go ahead and do FN Delete. Now we're gonna go ahead uh, and we're gonna do FN Windows key A. That's the mute uh, key that we'll go ahead and we'll, uh, or, or the, the mute binding that we'll go ahead and bind to that. Now to return back to the main menu of the macro mode, we're just gonna hit FN Alt one more time. We can check to see if something is bound to that key or any key for that matter by just holding the FN key. You can see that it lights up white meaning we've assigned something there. Uh, and then we can go ahead and we can do play pause to the insert key there. So we'll hit FN and insert. And now we'll do FN Windows key D. There's no feedback on the keyboard whatsoever that it's working, uh, but trust me, we'll test this afterwards, it does work. Now we'll return back to the main menu with FN Alt. Now we can see we have two keys lit up. Now we're gonna go ahead and do volume down on the end key, so I'll do FN plus end. We're gonna do FN Windows key C. And we'll return back to the main menu. We have three keys lit up. We're gonna do volume up to page down. So do FN Windows key uh, B. I think I might have just mixed those up verbally, but whatever, doesn't matter. FN plus Alt, we have those keys linked up. We're gonna do last playlist or last song to the home key up there, so FN plus home. And we'll do FN Windows key G for previous playlist. Return back to the main menu there, 
And lastly, we'll do next song or next playlist with page up, uh, FN plus page up, Windows uh, FN, Windows key, and F. And we'll turn back to the main menu here. So now we have six uh, switches or, or LEDs lit up, indicating that we have those bound now. Now we can go ahead and just hit, you don't have to hold it for three seconds, just hit FN, Alt, Tab and it returns us back to the normal backlighting mode. Now I can demo this and I can just turn on some random music and go to the next track. We can mute. We can turn the volume up, turn the volume down, and go to the next track. So those are those six that I like to bind. Um, and I've also, like I said, gone over how to adjust the lighting on those. Num lock, scroll lock, caps lock, mouse cursor, LEDs, and uh, how to reset the keyboard. So from here you should have most of the tools, or at least a pretty good guide on how to do this stuff, because there doesn't seem to be any that exist on the internet. Um, so with that said, I wanted to keep this video nice and short, uh, so you enjoy. Uh, drop a comment if you need any help or have any questions and enjoy your Ducky 1-3 keyboard with weird documentation that doesn't really make sense. Peace.